Hey yo internetters, welcome back to another video and so for today it's going to be slightly different because I didn't spend the week learning anything about pin tricks, Ruby's cube or any other suggestions that you guys left down in the comment section. Instead I spent my time learning and researching a little bit about bowling, sort of. And the reason why I spent some time learning about bowling was because there's this friendly tournament that's being held at a bowling alley nearby. And then my friend, he wanted to join and then he needed a partner because it's a 2v2 tournament. And so he asked me and then I was like, sure. And then after that, next thing you know, spend my time learning and prepping myself for the tournament. And so before we get into the video, I kind of want to give you a little bit of history and background of me and bowling. And so I didn't start bowling um, seriously, I guess you could say, uh, until like 2018 and 2019. So for about a year to a year and a half. And around the early 2019, I bought a bowling ball and then I bowled for a little bit and then I stopped. And the reason why I stopped was, well, well, we, we, we all know and remember 2020. And so then recently in one of my pin spinning video, I gave a clip of uh, me bowling. And that's when I actually first started back bowling again, which was roughly around April, like late April or something like that. And then, yeah, now we're here to today which is kind of like the tournament and yeah the tournament it's a friendly tournament as I mentioned earlier and basically it's a no tap tournament which basically mean if you hit nine pins or higher it's considered a strike anything less you have to kind of bowl like a spare and so yeah I guess with all that being said we could get right into the bowling day so we got to the alley and now we're gonna do a practice run for the this weird event that they have at the bowling one the bowling alley where they're holding a tournament or something I'm doing it for fun i don't know how to bowl but we're gonna try it anyways it's all about learning practiced for about roughly an hour no not roughly an hour it was actually an hour and then after that we didn't do too hot right based on the score yeah that's pretty bad but I guess you could say it's kind of okay for practice round and then from there we started to pack things up we started headed to the alley where the tournament is and then we wanted to have you know a few warm-up games from there too hey about to practice That warm up kind of turned into an additional hour of practicing, which is kind of a lot. You know, I'm thinking like, hey, you know, if the more we practice, the better we'll get kind of like deal. But the bad thing was, well, that will kind of come back and bite me in the butt. And if you continue watching, you'll find out why. But other than that, you know, my warm up is still pretty bad. I only did like 130. My friend, he ended up pulling 197, which is pretty good. And then I guess from there, we'll start the tournament round so in the tournament we had a series of three games and basically highest points win this is basically how game one went for me
yeah, so that's um, game one. Watching it back, it still gives me the um, excited feeling and then the nerves. Like I was like so tense. Um, but I did pretty well for my first game um, and, uh, compared to my practice for sure. And that's basically the summary of game one with the score uh, that being on the board. I don't remember it. But um, yeah, from there, we'll move on to game two, which pretty much I did very similar to how I did with game one. <laughs> Oh man, like um, I I almost died right there because my hand almost touched the foul line. It was like literally inches away from the foul line. Oh, I, I think that would have been really bad. I think I would have had a foul if I, my hand touched the foul line. So since I guttered on that frame, I kind of got a bowl to where I could pick this up and spare it, which basically technically I have to bowl a strike to get pick up this spare. And we were able to pick up that spare. And so yeah, that was the first two games. I think I did pretty, pretty good for my first tournament and having all of these nerves that I've never experienced before and the insane amount of pressure. And then we're moving on to the final game, which is game three. And remember in the earlier parts of the video where I told you that, you know, practicing for two hours is gonna bite me in the butt later? Well, it bit me here and basically here's why. Like right here okay this is the last frame the tenth frame I just need two pins to break 100 okay I don't want to be that guy that's below 100 in a tournament game when all these people are breaking 200 plus like without breaking a sweat so I need at least two pins right here or else I'll die of embarrassment I choked I choked yeah, um, I had two chances to get at least two pins and I got her both times. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I was the, I'm that dude with 98 and everyone else like 200 plus. Like, yeah, yeah, go me. This kind of stuff, it, it always happens to me. Like, I always break under pressure and I need, I need to stop that. I need to stop that. My friend ended up bowling a 227, so congrats to him. Really happy that he consistently performed well while I had a me mental breakdown and meltdown on game three because I couldn't handle the pressure. Um, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It was a great experience. Um, it was a friendly tournament, of course, but I, I just, you know, I get competitive, so I tried my best and, uh, you know, you saw what happened. And so, yeah, I know what you're thinking. The big question is, um, did we win? What do you think? You know, pretty obvious, right? Like, we didn't win. Not, not me bowling a 98 in game three. Like, that, that's not gonna help us win. But yeah, we end up bowling a total of uh, 1,052 points out of 1,800. And I think the first place winner had like 1,500 points or more, like around 1,500 plus out of 1,800, which is pretty insane. And so that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time. Oh, and also I was really like, fush like, like bowling that 98, it really bothered me. And so I went bowl right before finishing this video here. And I managed to bowl this, which is my personal best. 